And welcome back. Well, why does it seem like every winter when it rolls around, people forget how to drive carefully in the crummy weather? It's like the moment it rains or it snows, we've never driven in it before, right? It's it's infuriating is what it is. <laughs> and we're joined now by Andy Liverman, senior partner at Gedlin Liverman and Reimer with the most common mistakes that people can make that can cost them thousands yeah. of dollars. I mean, it really can cost thousands of dollars, right, Andy? Mm -hmm. It does. Every year, Carol, it costs thousands of dollars when people get involved in these automobile accidents during the winter. Mm -hmm. So this, in your business, this is when, I'm sure, some of the holidays with the winter weather changes, this is when you guys start seeing more people make those mistakes, get in more accidents just because the weather's changing, right? Uh, that's true. And in fact, you know, we can, it's like clockwork. Since mm -hmm. 1969, my partner, Michael Genlin, has been representing people in automobile accidents. And every year when the first snow flies and it actually sticks to the ground, yeah. that's when we're, we're busy. So if it's a, a blizzard the night before, I know the next day we're going to get a lot of calls. Ugh. Okay, so like, give me an idea as to what people are, what the mistakes that mm -hmm. people are making. I'm assuming because I I know you, Andy, so I've re I've read your booklet, and it's like not talking to insur don't talk to the insurance agents and, and that kind of thing, right? Right. Well, I think the number one thing that people do is they don't get medical treatment after uh, an accident. You mean they just refuse because they think they're fine? They think they're Superman or mm -hmm. Superwoman and I always tell my clients that you don't have to be that person. You know some of the toughest people in Wisconsin are on the Packers and after an, an injury on Sunday yeah. they go get physical therapy right away. They want to get back to that peak uh, you know athletic performance and I always tell my clients you deserve the same kind of care. Mm -hmm. So mistake number one they're not taking care of themselves physically. They're not either going in to get checked out or whatnot right? I, I think that's the biggest mistake. Yeah. And I can tell you, by practicing law for 23 years, representing thousands of people, if you do not document your injuries, you yeah. will not get paid by the insurance companies when you make a claim. Okay, mm. but let's just say this. I don't have insurance. Now where uh, do we go? See, that's my concern. If I don't have insurance, then how do I go see a doctor and pay those medical bills? Well, if you don't have health insurance, there's many times there's coverage under your auto policy mm. called medical oh, payments okay. coverage. If you don't have that coverage, there are doctors that will treat you for your injuries mm -hmm. and wait to get paid out of the uh, settlement at the end of the case. What other kind of mistakes do people make? Because I think, you know, when you get in an accident, you, you're so frazzled. You know, I mean, I just hit a deer not long ago, and we've talked about it a lot on the show, and it, it's a little different, but it's like you forget everything that you've ever heard because you're just in that moment, you're, you're, you're scared. Right. Well, I think the other common mistake is that people give uh, statements to insurance companies. Mm. You know, sometimes after the accident, insurance company is going to call you and say, we have to get a recorded statement yeah. from you or we're not going to pay you. Well, I can tell you that's not true. Hmm. Uh, we have represented thousands of people. We've recovered millions of dollars for people, and our clients have not given uh, uh, statements to insurance companies. There is a caveat there. If you're uh, making a claim for compensation under your own policy, you're going to have to give a statement. Okay, so point. it's your own policy that if, you can give a statement to. Correct. Oh. If it's your own policy, you have to give a statement. And in fact, there's been a change with regard to Wisconsin law in hit and run situations mm -hmm. where you're making a claim under your own automobile policy. If you do not give a, a statement to your insurance company within 30 days, you can't make a claim. And that statement has to be written and under oath. Okay. Because they can go to your website and they can look at this, right? At your pamphlet? That's true. What we do is we've uh, put together an educational brochure for anybody that wants to request it. Mm -hmm. um, they can simply call our office, whether you're in 414-262 or 920. You can simply dial 7s. We can mail this to you. We okay. can email this to you. You can actually download it from our website. And as you know, Carol, you and I recently sat down. Yeah, we did. <laughs> for those did. of us that don't like to read <laughs> and put together an educational we series, did. video series based on these oh, 11 okay. mistakes, you can download those from our website or you can go to YouTube and download them from there. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's the greatest thing about Andy, too, is the fact that not only is he knowledgeable, but he's so easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you get into an accident, that's the biggest thing. It's like you're, so, like you said, you're yeah. so frazzled it's just easier to just go here you can do you it. do this mm -hmm. do this for me and that's what his group does yeah. and it's really really a great group to join up with in case you have if you have the need yeah I mean, it's like you don't want to have to call you but sometimes you have to no normally when people call us it's not because something good yeah. has happened you know yeah, exactly. saying, I just got married you know <laughs> something like that it's no I've been in an accident so um, and there are people that are reluctant to call us so uh, that's why we provide that educational brochure I have a question for you because a lot of times um, accidents don't happen nine to five 
That's you know, correct. you know. So if, if you're out, like, and it's usually late at night, and driving conditions are tougher. A lot of us have poor night vision. I'm in that category as well. Something happens. Then, how do people con? It can, it, is the number something that always goes to people or an attorney? Is that what you want to do, even if it's after hours? Yeah, after hours, you can simply dial sevens. We have attorneys on call, and they can answer your questions after hours. If and you like. still want to do that right away. You still want to do that okay. right away. Okay. So don't feel bad, right? Even if they're sleeping. <laughs> no. I, people call me at night all the time and they apologize and I say, hey, that's what I'm here for. So yeah. it's it's part of the job. Yeah. Honestly, call call Andy. He'll right. take care of you. You make it easy. Not only is it easy for what you said, but it's easy to call you guys. You just dial seven. So if you're injured or if you have an accident or if you want to get those 11 mistakes because it's better to know before you're in the situation, call the numbers on your screen, whether you're 414, 262, or 920. It's all seven, 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 or GLR-law.com to find out more about what you do. Thanks so much for being here, Andy. Well, thank Thanks, you and Andy. happy holidays. Yeah, stay Same safe. to you. <laughs>